Hey, how's it going? It's Rocky. It is currently 1251. It's the last 10 minutes of the market. Uh, it's Tuesday, March 5th. And I just wanted to show you an example of a trade of me trying to catch a falling knife, which is a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, you can see here, this is pretty much falling knife. Uh, if you look at the, all the indexes here, which I'm going to bring up, you can see that all four of them are pretty much negative, at least 1%. With the Dow was down at least 500 points at one point. S&P 500 down 1.12%, and the NASDAQ was actually down at 2.5% uh, earlier. And essentially, I just want to run through this trade. Uh, again, it's not something I would recommend to people. Uh, catching a falling knife is a very dangerous business, but it's something that yeah, I do sometimes. It's like one of those to tell you, don't touch the fire, but you still want to touch the fire sometimes. So this is when I normally trade. You can see I have a time base and a tick base. Time base on the left, tick base on the right. Usually when there's a falling knife, I try not to rely too much on the time base chart. What I actually force uh, focus on is the tick base chart. And I'm going to show you the reasons why I entered. Not an advice, I'm just trying to tell you what's going on here. So essentially, um, one of my entries is to go long is if you're on the overbought side on the stochastic RSI, which it was here on the entry, and a MACD crossover there. Um, and if you look at the candles there, that's a slight sign of a turnaround. So I entered one contract at about uh, 42, I believe, was the entry. And then you can see that I was pretty much up a little bit and it was underwater for most of it. And then you can see here I added a second contract because I thought I was hitting the bottom and it was on its way out. And that's the reason why our average here was at 527. And you can see that from most of the trade, it was pretty much underwater here, which is really hard to, to focus. Um, and you'll be able to see it a little bit on the recording after this. I did a live recording of the trade. And as you can see, since I was down close to about 30 points or $300 here since I'm trading two contracts, I didn't really have the mental fortitude to keep going anymore. So once I had an opportunity to break even, you can see here, I moved my stop into profit and locked in three points which um, not going to lie, I'm having a lot of FOMO because right now we are about 97 and from 27 to 97 is about 70 points and uh, still going. And that 70 points is, you know, it would have been $700, so it should have been a strong day. So this catching the following knife that I did here would have been profitable if I held on a little longer in the end there. But you can see what happened on the, the live um, video that I did. Uh, the main reason I recorded it is I wanted to show more examples of the trade copier. Try not to do it too often because it does take away from my focus, but it is what it is. Um, this is the one that got away and I'm, I'm okay with that uh, for today. We we'll still managed to end the day with a little bit of profit. Anyway, um, tune in and watch the video. I'll play it with um, just regular speed, feel free to forward or not as you see fit. I was going to try and fast forward it, but it might be good to s see it in real time and see what the emotions are like if you were trading it. All right. Uh, thank you and enjoy this upcoming video. So we're about four minutes in since I started recording. You can see this moves rather quickly. We're down almost $200 on each account. And um, it's well within my risk, so that's why I'm just letting it be. Sometimes you need to let your trade breathe and trust in the entry that you did make. And I'm really just risking my, my full risk on this one. And uh, what we're waiting for is, again, to get to break even, be above it. But I just wanted to show you what it's like when it's it's underwater. This is usually a time where you have a lot of thoughts, right? You're frustrated, you want to add more, you want to average down, you're just mad. So you try to find a way to either distract yourself or to trust in the entry that you made from the beginning anyway. And you know, you tell yourself, oh, it's going to work out. This is all within plan. It's just right now, it's just drawdown. 
so it's a understandable drawdown so again it's at 220 again that's getting to a point where I'm getting a bit uncomfortable obviously but uh, we'll let this play out All right, so we are now at break even. So those alerts are there uh, to tell me, hey, pay attention, time to adjust your trade. Right now you can see we're up about $40 or so. Uh, we're getting close to the end of power hour. So there's usually some drastic moves. And since I've been underwater a lot, I'm actually getting to a point where I don't know if I have the mental capacity to keep this running uh, longer. I'm usually uncomfortable letting a trade open in the last 10 minutes of the market so i may just adjust my my stop above the break even so we can lock in some profits but um we'll see how this goes um again what you're seeing are four accounts one pa from apex and three uh combine from top step so all right so let me show you what i i normally make the move on the left side so on the on the left side is the chart I'm able to drag the stop and the limit. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I was waiting for a plus 10, so it's about $100, but we'll see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> My indecision of trying to capture something amazing on film or on video might be my downside here, but we'll, we'll let this run a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put my alert back once it's above 27 so I know to pay attention to you know go back and take a look at it again hope oh, maybe I don't need to because it's about 27 right now um, so if you're at this position what would you do right do you, do you move your limit down closer or do you move your stop uh, with the way I trade I rather move my stop above so right now it's let's let's move it to about 30 so at 30, I would lock in about $30, but um, I don't want to put it in it to be taken out right away. So I just want a little bit of breathing room like it does right now. Let me see. So this is the part, right? Sometimes you need to be a robot when you do this. But I'm going to do it now because I don't want to risk it farther. So it's at 30. You can see I'm 
locking in about $30 on the right there. And then what will happen is I have an ATM where the, the trailing stop will move as it goes up. But once in a while, I would just manually uh, move it myself. Um, you can see now 60, you might hit me at 30 and that's okay. There you go. You could have said, Hey, you could have taken the 70 or $80, but that's just how I trade. Um, that prevents me from order canceled to chase or anything like that. So with that trade, we were able to lock in about $30. I mean, for a drawdown at about two, $300, you'd say it's a very bad entry. And I agree with you. It was a pretty bad entry. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you an example of how I trade, how I use the brackets and um, understanding my full risk. And now it's usually when I'll have a FOMO because it's like, hey, look, it hit the 37 mark, which would have been the $100 that I wanted. But since it's almost uh, the last 10 minutes of the market where I was hoping for this move on our direction, you never know, right? Um, I closed it out and I'm just done for the day. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little example that I showed there. And uh, let's go take a quick peek at our performance for today. So for today, um, our PA was able to uh, get a profit of 194.50, which is not bad. Um, it's been a struggle from the beginning on this one, and you keep hearing the alerts because, not gonna lie, I'm having a bit of FOMO because those are my alerts. But uh, anyway, my PA is finally above ground. It was negative the past two days. Um, it's still a lot of work to be done on the combines to pass it. But right now I'm just focusing on the PA. Uh, I, you notice it's just one PA because I just, I don't have the funds anymore and I really need a confidence booster to, to get more, um, essentially, uh, more actual payouts before buying more accounts. And there you go. Look at that. It's now plus 30 from where we were. This would have been plus $300, but it is what it is. This one got away. I may have been a little bit too conservative in my stop, but um, one of my rules is to not trade the last 10 minutes. It's 12.48, and hopefully you enjoyed the content that I showed. I hope that was pretty, pretty helpful. And again, as a quick disclaimer to all of this, this is for informational and entertainment purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.